Hey, I think we have a winner here. The Studio Rack version 14. You're able to scan your VST 3s and load them up in Studio Rack no matter who is the manufacturer. Today, we're going to try and load up a rack for the output for this song and see what we can come up with with different manufacturers. Let's get into it. Let's go. Okay, so first order in business. Now, if you have your presets saved in AU or AAX and you have your favorite sweetener that you just want to start off with, the only way you can compare that is it to mirror it to another synth or whatever device you're using. Mine is going to be the Apogee, right? So if I like this preset, just to start out with just to get me rolling i would have to copy the settings so you will not have your preset list inside of studio rack but once you get inside a studio rack it's fair game you can save it the way you want but this is just to get you a sweet spot or a starting point to start tweaking okay so what i'm gonna do is just try to tweak this a little bit and get it where i had it all right and that will be your settings and then you'll be good to go. So you just start building on top of that. And then once you have it saved, that whole rack will be saved to whatever your sweet spot is. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so if initially you were using AU Logic Platform or whatever platform you're using and you're installing your plugins and you do not install the VST3s, it will not scan. So you will have to reinstall all your VST3s have you not done that so far. So if it's not showing up in your scan list, you will have to reinstall all VST3 plugins on your platform. Let's see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is shut this down, start it back up and see what happened. I'm gonna try to do another rescan to see what happens. So that was my initial uh, issue. A lot of plugins were not scanned under VST3. Let's see what happens now. So if you're out there having problems with loading or scanning a certain type of plugin, you would definitely have to reinstall all your VST threes to come up on your rack and there it is so that was one of the problems i ran into so we're going to move on with this we're going to get it right because i am au i didn't really need to have a vst3 installed so with all the vst3s installed it must be installed on your device in order for studio rack to take advantage for the list of plugins all right and i am using the f6 Using the Big Al, using the Better Maker. I'm using a multi band split, which you can see here. Let me get this out of the way. Using X valve just for a little coloring. No compression is being put into the actual signal. It's just the valve for coloring and the Apogee soft limit to catch those peaks. What I'm going to do is go to a section of the song. We're going to use the F6. The macro is just pretty much simple. You right clicking on it and decide which function you want to automate. Real simple. You can go to anything you want. Bank, power, high pass, low pass, boost. Whatever manufacturer you have, it works with it. Okay, so let's just listen to the high pass frequency in this intro. So that's going to be the high pass automation with the macros. Now you can do this with any plugin you want, not only ways, but you can use it for nine ways plugins. Let's listen to the big Al and I'm automating the drive. Let's 
So this will work with any manufacturer, just as long as you have VST3s installed and you're good to go with any manufacturers. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just go to a different section of the song. We're gonna listen to all plugins bypassed and active. Okay, so like I said, I have the F6, I have the Big Al, I have the Better Maker. I'm running the multi band split with the Kniff Soma. I'm using it in the mid side, high mid frequencies, you know, just to add a little bit high mid frequencies. And I got the stereo width at about 120, and the X valve just for a little coloring. No compression is being added, and the soft limit from Abogee. Let's bypass everything. <music> So it's kind of sterile, kind of flat. So now if we engage all the perimeters in, let's take a listen to that. So it's a big improvement. Not only that, with the multi-band split, use a nice little coloring for different frequencies. If it's too harsh, you can tame it down. You can solo that frequency. Let's listen to that. Want to bring down the highs a little. It's a little too harsh. You can control how much you want in that frequency, in that band. Parallel split, you can add a parallel split. There are endless possibilities to having this studio rack. What is in your toolbox? Do you use just all wave plugins or are you gonna be on the bandwagon and try to have all manufacturers work with this? Make sure you click the like and subscribe and we are gonna see you on the next one, thanks.